something. We pointed it out just so that it could be put on record. Yeah. Y'all been watching Carbonation Chief online for years. For years. Coming off for years. And y'all have been looking into his life. You guys seen all these people. Y'all seen True. Sheba. Y'all seen Sheba online every single day. Y'all know the hearts of these people. Y'all know these people very well. Y'all have developed and lived vicariously through us for years. <laughs> and 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 the crazy, you know what the crazy thing is, that when these people was with us, y'all used to hate on them on a regular basis. Hmm. Now all of a sudden that they doing something that is not right, exactly. y'all are supporting that. And that's what well we came to that question: who was in charge of Chief being sentenced? Because we all know the devil is a lie. Exactly. We all know that Satan is a deceiver. Exactly. And with nothing in that court. Oh, no God. kind of truth. It was no truth. Was stated in that courtroom. Anytime the truth tried to come out, objection, no, irrelevance. We couldn't play now one video when y'all seen his innocence was proven no. in every video that we made and put together. It was it's all, all over, over our page. page. It's all over YouTube. It's all over Instagram. Go to natureboytv.com. Uh, exactly. You see it on the website. Exactly. And it's like, even when I was up there, we trying to get videos played for our defense. You got to think about it. This is bigger than Nature Boy. Mm -hmm. Y'all just literally just watch how corrupt this, this system, system is. is. What y'all seen yesterday was a lynching. A that modern was a day. Lynch mob. It, it, modern day. That was a lynching right in front of the world. And 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 we have a lot of people who is supporting that. And I don't understand why. Y'all just seen what they did. Even though, despite all of the evidence, despite all of the evidence, I don't see, I never have seen somebody as hated as this more than Donald Trump. Hmm. I don't understand it. Even, even the way that the judge ended up, like, I was on the stand. I, that... Our lawyer was trying his best to trying. play videos to for our defense. Even though y'all know we have a lot of stuff that defends him and that exonerates him from these charges. Yeah. And they're trying to play this. The detectives interview, they wouldn't play that. Why they why would they play Natiri interview with the detectives but not play Chief interview? No, they played. They played chief interview. Yeah, right, right, right. They didn't play the. Why didn't they play chief interview? But they played. They, well, they did play chief. They played yeah. chief interview. They didn't play. Natiri. Her interview with the T. Because she is being persuaded, persuaded. and they know this. Yes. They don't want, they, this is something that they are trying to hide yeah. from the public to be known. This is something that they're trying to cover up. They don't want y'all to see it. Mm -hmm. Because this is something that exonerates him. If they played that video, it would exonerate him immediately. Yep. Because one, I, I don't understand how somebody can get a sentence like that. When a girl said that they made love, that it's is a, a fake, fake charge. charge. Y'all heard. That's bogus. Y'all know. Y'all yeah. have seen everything. Y'all okay. know this girl. Yeah. Y'all done seen all the times that she was throwing her ass up in the air and how much she wanted to compete and be with us and be with him. And I don't think that is fair no, that somebody not. could even have... The, there's people that actually this happens to and they get lesser and they charges. don't get charges like this they don't end up with life sentences without the possibility of, of parole but this is not this is not the end this is far from it yeah. i'm gonna tell you right now it's far from it mm -hmm. we're gonna mm -hmm. have to appeal this decision we have We're to. going to appeal this because it's not right. And everybody has seen it. Everybody knows. And you could see the the intention, not only of the detectives, but of the judge. Judge Stacey Hodricks at the end was like, you're a master manipulator. And all. you don't even know him. 
You don't even know him. These people who are so close to chief know his heart. The, the thing is, when you come into chief life and you come into your natural environment, something happens called shadow work. That's what it is. When you are cleansing yourself and you are getting more in tune with yourself, the years and years and years of generational curses start flying out. It's not, it's not And pretty. you put in a situation where you got to work on them. And because Chief just showed everybody who they are, they just don't want to take responsibility and say, he's the bad guy. Yes. When they going up on that stand, they point, point even the finger the at court, him. Look, even in the court, he showed everybody who they was. He, he showed, showed the judge who she was. The he showed the prosecutor who she yep. was. He showed all of those people exactly who they was. Yep. Yep. Devils. Devils. Deceivers. Deceivers. Liars. Yeah. 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 They said in the scripture, and I know y'all, I know you seen Sheba. What did, what did she do to Sheba? What did he do to y'all? The fact. The fact that they sit up there and lie. The fact that they y'all been up here, y'all been here the whole time. Right? And he didn't even he didn't even fuck with you. But like he that. still let her come around. He still let you come around. Because you wanted to be with him. Everybody know. Everybody know that he didn't fuck with Sheba like that. But Sheba went up there and did the most. Like they was a, in actually a, a, a kind of romantic relationship. I was like, damn, that's a bit much, right? He didn't do nothing to you. Yeah. He didn't do nothing to you. Y'all have y'all must have been forgetting that we was here and the way that we was treated up on that stand was not right. That's not how you do people. The judge was yelling at me. The day was when it was our turn to speak. We was not treated the same. Mm -hmm. It was very biased. Mm -hmm. They treated me like shit. Mm -hmm. They did not let me get my my point my story out or my story across without calling me a liar. How is my truth a lie? How is what I saw from my old eyes a lie? Now, what if Booker, our lawyer, would have called and said Natiri was a liar? Mm. Oh my God! How would that have worked out? He would have looked like the bad guy. But no, they could sit here and call me a liar when I'm speaking my truth and I'm speaking the truth of what happened. Mm -hmm. Being mm -hmm. shut down through all angles. Mm -hmm. But look, I'm gonna pull up John four. John 4 says, let me go to it. I love one right here. God mm -hmm. is a spirit. Mm -hmm. Jesus said. And yes. he shall worship you in the spirit of truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The way, the truth, and the life. That's in the Bible. Where was the truth at in court? Because God says that he is the truth. So how was this an act of God? This couldn't be an act of God it because God be. says I'm the way, the truth, and the light. But nothing in that room was so truth. It wasn't the truth. We weren't able to show the truth. This is a malicious prosecution. We showing y'all the truth on our page. Y'all actually seeing the truth live when it's happening. How? Y'all been watching for years. Imagine how many other black people that are that are not high profile that they doing this doing too. This that too. don't have a voice. And they tell that you don't to be have quiet. a platform. Yeah. They tell you to be quiet. And then they just railroad you. Yeah. If they could do this to him publicly. They showing you what. They showing the corruption. What do you think they doing behind the scenes to people? To 
millions of people. This same thing, people is buried. They forgot about in these places. Mm -hmm. we, we are lucky enough to have a platform and a voice to show you guys what's happening. Yeah. We're you lucky. Know what? This case don't wasn't even about the charges. This case was about chief speaking the truth. Speaking and a lot the of truth. People are saying that we're loyal, that we're sticking by his side. We are a family. Like we family. What do you expect? Like these people Poppy, he becomes an easy target because he's a strong, powerful figure. He an easy target. And he got a big heart, so people take advantage of him. And then they sit here and they, they look at us and they want us to turn on them. For what? Y'all spreading lies. Y'all being deceitful. Y'all lynching your own people using the system. That it, that's crazy. I can't be a none, part of none that's fake. I can't be a part of that. Cause I'ma die a real one. I'ma ride for him to the end. I'm not giving up. Because We're we know we know his heart. We know who he is. I don't even like. I don't even understand like how I how y'all could even look in the mirror like. Cause if it was me. And, then, and that was the that other end. Nobody. I couldn't even look at myself in the I mirror. I wouldn't even feel good Knowing that myself. I did that. Knowing that I lied on somebody. Knowing that I just... I, 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 I took away his freedom with a lie. With a lie. Life in... It say right here. It say right here in John 8 and 44. Mm -hmm. You belong to your father, the devil. And you want to carry out your father's desires. Hmm. He was a murderer from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Not holding to the truth. Has nothing to do with the truth. For there is no truth in him. Hmm. There was no truth in none of these people there. Hmm. They had lies, an agenda. Yeah. They had an agenda. It was all From the very setup. beginning. This is all the setup. You don't, you, you don't predict when a trial is supposed to end. How do you, how does the judge say this is going to be over by Friday? How do you know that? So you actually, this was a whole setup. Mm -hmm. Like, like everybody said when it was malicious prosecution, malicious prosecution. Mm -hmm. They refused to let that interview be played. They refused. We it. didn't play no videos. The prosecutor going there playing all these videos, just like the, what, just like the trolls. Taking a few seconds, don't know what Chief was talking about. That interview His character. Show. Showing he, y'all know that we do all these characters. They get a clip from the three guy and just like yeah, confusing the jury and painting this picture out to the jury. The judge, Stacey Judge Hydrick is a manipulator. You manipulated that whole situation, only showing the jurors what you wanted them to see. And so you can get a conviction of what she, what she wanted. Because what she said at the end, that's how she felt in the very beginning. She denied us bonds a total of six times. Why? Because we got a charge in Hawaii for quarantine. But now you're walking in a court with COVID. Like, it's all about how they feel about Chief. Like, And it wasn't, it, it wasn't just, it wasn't based on truth. It wasn't based on justice. It was very biased. That video exonerated him. If they would have played that interview with Natiri, you would have heard it. They, everybody would have known that they put a false charge they and put a false, false rape charge. on him. That arrest warrant did not say nothing that she said to them in that interview and that recording. They were supposed to come to her for revenge porn, man. They didn't have no idea of these charges. Mm-mm. She didn't have no idea, not even in none of the I, none of the interviews ever. Mm -hmm. Still to this day, she said it. That she didn't even say it. Never said it out her yeah, mouth. Yeah, they planted that in her mind and started from the T. Do you know that? Do you feel that? Do you know that that was this? And she's like, No. What do you know? I just felt like it was fake. And then the T sent that interview to the detectives, and the detectives is like building off of that, like. 
well, did you say no? And she's like, well, I mean, I just gave it to him because I care about him. And he's like, well, at any point, did you tell him no? And she was like, well, I said my Uber was outside. And he just keep on and keep on and keep on. She still didn't say it. And he wrote it in that arrest warrant that he forced himself in her when she never said that. And then when she go in court and testify, she's saying all this extra shit that she never even said. Her testimony totally different, bro. Totally different. That's what they should have talked about in the detective interview. She's saying, I said no. And then I, bitch, why didn't you say that in the interview with the detectives? This was all a setup. Her stories changed so much. She ain't never said nothing about convulsions, nothing like that. If they would have heard that interview, then he would have been she exonerated. Been but they did that. They set that up so that only the prosecution side could get their stuff in. Yeah. If you understand the way that people mind works is that you go in based off of visuals. That's more memorable. Yeah, that's why so they that's wanted why to go they back they and watch the videos. they to deny our yeah. stuff from getting in because they didn't want that impression on them. All the that the jury had to work on was the evidence that they gave. Was the evidence was that nothing. they gave. But to deliberate, they had what they gave, but we wasn't allowed to put anything in there that exonerate him or that would be able to create that doubt. Now, on, now they didn't have anything anyway. They didn't. They didn't have anything anyway. No. There was so much doubt. She went up there and lied, perjured herself many times. Mm -hmm. Got off of the stand when she started to get pressured. Did yep. you notice how the detectives said they didn't check any of the devices? The DA was scrambling they stuff took, to get a build a case. They, they took scrambling. about more than twenty devices. They, they took didn't all check of our none phones, of them. Laptops, iPads, didn't check nothing. But in his interview, they asked for his pen and he gave it to them. They still didn't oh, check. Half it. of the work is done. You would have seen you all the text the messages if they wanted his all phone. All you have to do is just go open it and re and look. And you would have found nothing it's in there. It's probably a lot of evidence in there that helps us because you will see the conversations with Chief and the Teary in there. Exon prob that probably exonerate him too. Exactly. But this was a setup. It was a setup. It was a setup from the beginning. It was a setup. And the reason why they didn't do the detective work is because they knew what they were going to do they from didn't the care. beginning. Yeah, they didn't care. They just wanted, oh, we got him? Bet. That's all we needed. They, they don't care. They wasn't seeking no justice. They already had justice? their mind made up. That judge, she had her mind made up. She didn't like us. Yeah, she had her mind made up. She had her mind made up. That's why she was moving like that in court. If he, if Chief done showed you anything, he just showed you how corrupt this system is. Yep. How they could do this and this could happen to any one of you. Anyone that you know, yep. and you just seen it firsthand, blatantly. This whole case has been hearsay. How can you give somebody a life sentence plus 10 years and no parole when you ain't got no motherfucking evidence? That's crazy. And when you put it in an appeal, they are using all the evidence that was presented at trial. So now we have to find a, a good appeal lawyer to really break this case down. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff for appeals. Like... We got the interview. Yeah, we got the interview. We, we got are going to be. Yeah. Look, we gonna be exonerated from this. Yeah. There was a lot of stuff that happened in our favor. Ain't no way, y'all. The public, y'all done seen see the, the truth. truth. Y'all see it seriously. Y'all seen this firsthand. Y'all yeah. done seen it go down. And if he ain't do nothing to, if he didn't do nothing, he just exposed Dude. to y'all how corrupt this system is and why he left in the first place. This system ain't for us. This system has never been for us. But when we get emotional, we know that this system ain't for us and we embed it with a self-hate so deep, we will use the system to kill our own self. We will use the system against each other as a weapon when we feel some type of way. When that system will do the same shit to you, True, Solar, they'll do that same shit to you. Natiri, Velvet, Sheba, them police don't give a fuck about you. They'll drag your ass if you did something that go against what they want. They don't yeah. give a fuck about you. Talking about, oh, if you talking about telling Chief if he had more remorse. That bitch ain't got more no remorse. remorse. They lied on him. Why he got up here and have remorse for? 
He's very confident in the truth because he didn't do it. But here's the question to all the Christians in the court. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? Would Jesus have done what the judge did? Hmm. That's what they can say. Answer that question. There's only one. One God, one God. Well, who God do you worship? Because you lying. What Jesus would have done what the prosecutor did? Mm. But one thing I do want you to check and peep out is how Chief responded to everything. Mm. He said, I, he love, said, I you. love you. I forgive you. I forgive you. My heart is light. And you know what? They couldn't take that. The judge, she snarled. That made them more angry. She turned her lip up. It made her angry. They were the Antichrist. That is the Antichrist. Chief is the Chief real is Christ. Chief is the real Christ. He gave love and they snarled their lip up at him. Forgiveness. In the Bible, Christ was against this system. He went in the churches flipping over tables. They brought him up to the Pharisees in the courts of law and they judged him and they said they got rid of a murderer. Mm -hmm. They got That's rid true. of a murderer. Now I got a question. I got a question for y'all. And I'm going to see who's going to answer it. Let me see who I'm about to see who's smart up in the building. Okay. I'm about to see. <laughs> What was Christ, what was Jesus crucified for? Why did they kill Jesus? I want to see who's smart in the building. Anybody know? Why did they crucify him? Why did they crucify Jesus? Why did they crucify him? Why did they let a mur murderer go and pick Jesus to be crucified? They let a murderer go. Someone who was a terrible person in the town. They said, he can go. We want him. Why did they crucify Jesus? They said, because... He said he was God. Hmm. Okay. For blasphemy. blasphemy. Yeah. They said you are God. You are merely, merely a man claiming to be God. What did they say throughout that courtroom? There's only one God. Y'all heard it. That was the most. So this is intention. very, very biased. His due process was not, was not there this is the same spirit that killed christ that's right the same spirit yeah. there was no due process in that court yes. there was none of his constitutional rights yeah. so guess what mm. was christ considered a cult leader in his day because he, he had a lot a of followers because he went against the system he went against the churches he went around and traveled and spoke the word to many people. People worship Jesus. Was Jesus a cult leader? People believe he had disciples. Was he a cult leader? Yeah, Christ died because he was a cult leader. Exactly. He had a group of people following him. And what the hell happened in that courtroom? What happened? Yeah. This is prophecy. Nothing, nothing is new under the sun. This is a rewriting. It's a rewinding of time. Of scripture. Because and in that day. you first hand. Yes, exactly. Because it, back in that day, they would be considered that the same as today. Jesus was considered a destructive cult leader breaking their laws back then. Yep. Okay. That's why he broke the Sabbath. Yep. That's why he was crucified. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta pay and everybody attention. celebrated. They had this. They said that they had to stop him because of his what? Influence. His influence. Yep. And that's what they this did. This had in that nothing courtroom. to do with those charges. Even in the detective interview, he said, "This guy thinks he's God. He's not a good man. He thinks he's God." And then that's been a meat of this whole case the whole thing and then what happened to the disciples that's another good question what flew. happened to the disciples many disciples desert jesus when he got in trouble when, he got when they in started trouble. to crucify him they said you are a disciple of jesus are you not a disciple of jesus what they do who claims that he's god he said no i do not know that I man know him i do not know that man i don't know him they asked him three times they denied him. They turned their backs. Yep.
Yep. And before that happened, Jesus said, he told Peter, you would deny me three times before the rooster crows in the morning. You would deny me. This is a hard teaching who will understand it because if you when you walk in with Christ, the same hate that Christ get the people, the people going to hate you the same way. Exactly. And everybody say they Christians. But when it comes down to being Christ like these people that's attacking us, this isn't Christ like it's not going in these courts. Lying isn't Christ like mm -hmm. it's not. It's really not. That's the actually the opposite. It is Satan. That's why we asked in the beginning. Was Who, it God? Was this God? Or are, was it? And that's why Poppy said, are y'all happy? Are you happy? Will you sleep better at night? Will your life be better now? I still love you. That's what Jesus said on that cross when they beat him. At his last breath, he said, I still love you. Mm -hmm. I still love you. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so right now we are in getting into this appeal. Yeah. Look, we need y'all to run up these donations. Like we need all of the support that we can. Please reach out to us. We got 30 days. We, to file we an need appeal. this help. Like we need to file an appeal because this is not right. If you going to stand for anything, if you going to stand on the truth and you see what's happening, ain't no way you going to let this happen. Ain't no way you going to let this slide. Ain't no way. We not. We have 30 days to appeal this decision. So if you have any information, send it our way. Yeah. Send us a message. Donate, donate, because we need to get a a, a, a lawyer fast. It's like very quick. fast. We only this have is coming one up month. fast. Yeah. So please run up the donations. Yeah. Hit us in our inbox. We will personally give you our our cash app or whatever payment forms of payment. We will give it to you so that you can donate to the cause. Yeah. Because we're standing for the truth. Yeah. Here. Okay. And everybody has seen what the truth is. Right now, right after we get off of this live, we about to get on the phone with these lawyers. Yeah. We're handling business. Yeah, we really want to appeal lawyer that's nationwide and not in Georgia. Like, we are looking for that, but, you know, we just want that best appeal lawyer. We, we trying to look for the best. Yeah. Yes. It's crazy. So, hit us in the inbox. And all you, you demons out there, don't even pull up. Don't. Mm -mm. We, we not see you. stupid. We see you from a mile we away. We stupid. know y'all trying to attack us, trying to hit in our inbox, saying all this shit. Nah, no. where was y'all at during these two years? If you ain't been here these two years, and don't we think don't that know you. just because Chief ain't here, we not stupid. No, we stand okay? strong. Okay? We've been here for years, and we yeah. are not weak. We, not we are weak. very strong. We are some riders, and we gonna be here to the end. Yeah, we're we gonna stand on what we stand on. This is what we stand on. And no matter what happened, you still stand on your morals and principles. A they said do your loyalty have an expiration date. Loyalty don't have an expiration date because I stand on the truth and what I stand on. And guess what? A lot of people, they talk a lot of good game. They say they'll ride with you to the end. They say they're going to be there with you. But when the shit hit the fan, mm. you look around, you look to your left, you look to your right. Is they still a fan? Yeah. Is they still there? Is they still helping you, holding you down when mm. times get tough? Mm. What happened when your dog start hissing? Mm. Now we in what a war, you ain't on the side with me. What happened when your dog start hissing? Mm. Like a snake in the grass. Mm. Yeah. Don't take that route. Mm-mm. That, ain't, that don't end up good for nobody. Like, mm -hmm. if you're going to stand on something, stand on the truth. Stand on for what is right. Yeah. Everybody done seen the truth. We put the truth out there. We made it clear. Mm -hmm. We're not turning our back on Jesus. We mm -hmm. ride it all the way to the end. Yeah. All the way to the end. Yeah. We're going to be war. here. So yeah. run up the donations. Yeah. Because we need the support. Run it. Yeah. And the donations. Thank you for everybody who's been supporting. Hmm. Okay. Y'all run it up with the donations. Run it up.